Yeah, break it down, break it, break it, break it down. Woo! What's up, everybody? All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Razor from Razor Two coming at you with a huge update today. And today we're going to go over the Dead Block Seven, which releases a ton of information about Rust Council Edition on the PlayStation Four, PlayStation Five. Xbox Series X, Xbox One X, and all the OG consoles out there. So we're going to talk about this huge update that's coming to the PTB. And with following that, we're going to talk about the cargo ship and when it's going to possibly be coming. Well, not possibly. It's going to come around middle of July. But we'll read the dead blog. You guys let me know what you think. Anyways, this is a huge update. Awesome. Glad I could provide it to you guys. All right. Whoop, whoop. All right. Let's go to the dev blog. Boo. Go to the top. All right. So it says Deadblock 7. This month's Deadblock is a full of. Ex- I'm so excited I can't even talk. This month's Deadblock is full of exciting new information that you don't want to miss out on. We're preparing for the release of the next uh, content date uh, update on the staging branch, and this one has been highly requested by the players since we launched the game. There's a big quality of life uh, balancing update making its way to the staging branch tomorrow, June 29th. We will add. A new weapon with Oceanbound, L96. Everybody's wanted it. This thing slaps, dude. Awesome changes will be made to the target practice servers as well in the future. And it says, I can't wait to share more juicy details with you. So let me start by shedding some light on the upcoming staging update. Oceanbound is making waves, and the first one will hit the shores of the staging branch soon. In preparation for the upcoming content update on the staging branch, they're gonna make a they're gonna release an update for some quality of life stuff. For the Rust Council edition, and that's going to be the 29th. To give you a general idea of some of the changes present in the, this patch, we will add another recycler to the, the Bandit Camp, change the Simple Made site to the match the PC version, as well as increase the number of items in the APC loot crates. But there's more, including a fix that will restore the jackhammer to its former glory. Thank God. All right. For us now is the right time to release an update more focused on improving the experience for players with some balance changes and quality of life improvements. This update will be the foundation for what's to come in Oceanbound. All right, the car- cargo ship is arriving at full speed, Captain. Yes. Many of you got it right. Yes, the next content update will bring cargo ship as well as a new weapon to the Rust Council edition that has been highly requested. The update will require... A little bit more time when compared to others due to the nature of the content we are adding. The cargo ships are moving objects and work more like events instead of fixed monuments. That made the process of porting it a little bit more challenging, and we had to spend some extra time optimizing it in order for it to be ready to be tested on the staging branch. Preparations are almost complete, and the Oceanbound update should release in the middle of July over on the staging branch. Awesome. So we knew that they were working on optimizing it only because of all the memory issues that this game has on the old gen consoles. So that's awesome. We were right the whole time. With this content update, we will also bring the L96 rifle to the game as a new weapon. And this sniper is extremely deadly, but requires pinpoint accuracy in order to be awesomely effective so yeah you got to be like right on somebody when you when you snipe with it it's like a laser beam once the usual tests are completed on the staging branch and we got or we get to polish the content a, a bit more we will then announce a release date for the main branch right now our priority is to take sure or to make sure that cargo ship is functional and that players have a good time when trying to take it over here's some pictures ah the lazarus yes all right so a new version of the target practice servers is in the works based on the feedback provided by the players. Due to the popularity, they increased the map size from 1K to 1.5K. They're putting in new weapons. That's cool. Awesome. They don't have a date for that yet. We'll get to that when they do. New wipe, more fish. Uh, definitely, um, let's see, this month, Lee wipe on the main branch happening on 30th of June. We will add a new variation of the fishing village to the map as well as more maps with the fishing village present in them we want to make this new monument more common due to how useful it can be so awesome what else are we working on we're currently working on a number of background optimizations which lays the foundation of the for the team to continue to bring new content to the game at a steady pace 
and they also increase the performance stability of the future releases and also pave the way for the community servers. More on this in the coming months. So nothing about community servers yet, but they'll be here soon. We hear you, and we also want uh, to have community servers available as soon as possible, but we want to make sure we provide a good service, and for that, more work is required. So it looks like we're, that's on the back burner for now. At least that's what it looks like. We keep growing stronger. I would like to take a moment to show our appreciation to all of you for all of the ongoing support you've been providing. Our community over on Discord just reached 100,000 users recently, and we are close to reaching 150,000 mark over on Twitter. That's awesome. And we will keep doing everything we can in order to provide our players the best possible experience. Thank you for your trust in us. That's all we have to share this month. Thank you for uh, reading through all of it and hope <laughs> you are all excited what's to come to Rust Council. So, what do we know? We know it's coming. Cargo ship is for sure coming. L96, dude, that's going to be coming. That is awesome. These are all good things to know. They kind of painted a little roadmap for us. So we're going to get an update tomorrow on the 29th. And then after that, I mean, we just wait till mid-July and then we're going to get cargo ship. But that begs the question, where is the community servers or custom servers at right now? We don't know. Um, it looks like they're putting a lot of work in. They're trying to figure out maybe a service or something that they're, you know, they want to optimize or work on before they release them. Who knows, man? But I want community servers and custom servers so bad. Cargo ship is awesome, but there's a lot of different things that you can look at to be like, okay, so where's horses at? Where's, um, you know, the old vehiculars at? I like to know where that is. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this content and this dev blog in the comment section below. And I'm so happy that I could share that news with you guys. That is awesome. Big step for the Rust Council developers, Double Eleven. And I can't wait. It's going to be dope. So we get Cargo Ship, L96. They're going to fix the, some of the stuff in the target practice servers on the public testing branch. So... We got a lot of fun things coming. All right. Make sure you guys hit that sub and like button and hit that notification bell for the most up-to-date and recent Rust Council Edition news. I'll see you next stream soon. Bye. Oh, dude, I forgot the beats, bro. I forgot the beats, bro. Here, wait. We'll stand here. No. No. Why is it... Ooh, 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 ooh